So, uh, I'm hoping this is going to be the most exciting panel. Uh, we are so thrilled to have you, Jyoti, with us. In fact, I think we should all give her a round of applause because she represents India. <laughs> this panel because I have two amazing, amazing ladies over here. Uh, uh, one of our, you know, uh, the, you know, the classic role model. All of us, you know, all the girls who are part of our football program, they want to be like her. So she's, you know, she's that person. And Indu, who kind of manages Indian football for us, right? Women's football in India. So. She is the person to kind of figure it out for us <laughs> how to get it better. So I, you know, I have a whole lot of questions for them, but I do want this to be an interactive kind of space. So if I ask a question, I will hog that space and I wouldn't give up. So absolutely, I want this to be a very, very open and interactive space. So I will start with one or two questions, but keep them coming. So ask, you know, just put your hand up at any point of time if you want to address any of the questions to either of the ladies. And um, so I'll kind of initiate it with a few questions, but you know, please keep your callless mics handy and let's make it interactive. So, you know, I just thought I'll kind of throw uh, the same questions to both of you and, you know, from your own perspective, it'll be good to see, you know, how. So, uh, to kind of, I think the... Let's uh, go with it. <laughs> so, Indu, you tell me, how did you uh, first get exposed to football? What made you get into this uh, space, you know, and your journey as a sports person and now as a manager? Sure. Thanks, Laura. First of all, uh, thank you uh, for inviting me here. And I'm really glad to meet uh, very different people here. And uh, I could not be here from the morning. Because, uh, because of some commitments, but uh, I came here a little late, and the stories which I um, uh, which I saw, the uh, sharing space and everything, uh, those are really inspiring. So daily life में हम लोग नहीं मिल पाते हो साहब सबसे, but yeah, ऐसे platforms पे जब हम लोग आपसे मिलते हैं, आपकी stories हम लोग देख रहे हैं, सुनते हैं, so it inspires us more, and uh, you know we realize how privileged we are. So yes, thank you so much for sharing that and uh, uh, you have my respect and uh, please uh, let us know if uh, we can be any help to you. So yes, coming back to your question, so I, I, I basically come from uh, Ghazibar, so I have two elder brothers, the only daughter and uh, I was the only person who was into sports. So, I came to the sports, so ideally, you know, there is no more acceptance because I come from a child community. But thankfully, my mother was very supportive and she is the first woman who I have seen very strong in my life. Because she stood by me. When I was in 9th standard, I got the first exposure to playing. So, that was the first time I sat in a play. So yes, all those times they nobody was in favor. Okay, lady, hai, bahar se jari hai. Now all those questions did come, but my mother stood, you know, quite strongly and she was like, "Okay, jaane do, mujhe, you know, ladkiyon ka hi kya jata hai." I think somebody was mentioning that girls have the expiration date ke saath mein. So the this starts when they born. So it is not like that. Ten years ke hoge, twenty years ke hoge, ya fir atara plus hoge, to ab aayega. So it starts like. लड़की है इस एज के बाद तो भैया खेलना छोड़ना पड़ेगा तो माय मदर बोल रही कि एक बार शादी हो जाएगी फिर पता नहीं कौन कैसे ट्रीट करेगा लेट हर गो सो दिस वाज माय फर्स्ट एक्सपोजर इन स्पोर्ट्स हाउएवर इन फुटबॉल ऑनेस्टली आई आई वाज मोर इनटू क्रिकेट एंड फुटबॉल आई प्लेड इन माय कॉलेज because in cricket, I saw Injima Mubarak and many other uh, players who uh, was uh, who used to get run out. So I realized that cricket is not fitness. Nahi hota. And that, that was my observation. Aaj kal ki fitness to not fitness. But it was not time. So uh, that is how I was introduced to football. And the uh, rest is history. So now I'm working on the so Jyoti, I'd like to put that question to you. When did you first, you know, 
decide to be a footballer when that journey begins for you? I think I stumbled into sport. I mean, I was always sporty. I played hockey a lot. I think hockey was my first love, first introduction to sport. And then I just found football, to be very honest, it was the most, it was the easiest in, term, in terms of convenience. Um, you didn't need anything, Just you just needed ball and some space and a couple of people could just start playing football. With hockey, I mean, like equipment and sticks need to be carried and keeper had to have like, I don't know how many like pads and all that. It was just, I found football was so easy and the transition from hockey to football came quite naturally for me. Uh, again, a similar game, you know, 11 players put the ball in the goal and obviously upper body, lower body, <laughs> there's a bit difference but I, I f figured I could play. And um, in fact, I started very late. I was about 19 in college when I went for my first tryouts, and uh, Abha Jain was there actually. And I wasn't in the I was in St. Stephen's College, and we did not have football in our college. And I remember she called me for a separate tryout because I had not played into college. Uh, and then from there, of course, uh, they, I got into the state team, and, and then it's one thing happened after the other. From there. So, I was to ask both of you, starting uh, between you, who's really been your role model? Uh, you know, is there anybody that you can think of who you, who's really kind of inspired you to be the kind of woman you are? So, uh, well, uh, that's a that's a very difficult uh, uh, question, I would say. And you know, we always um, look for a ideal figure or uh, to follow. But uh, honestly, I I uh, uh, I liked uh, all those women who were in place uh, where uh, uh, people think a man should be, or uh, or you know uh, this is a uh, this is a place के जहाँ पे लड़के भी आ सकते हैं लड़कियाँ शुरू कम और बाय आ गई. So so I think every woman who uh, who uh, broke those barriers and you know they were uh, they were uh, going strong. Those all were my inspiration. Plus, um, uh, you know, when I used to play cricket, I was the only girl who was playing in eleven. So I remember, like, there are many incidents uh, uh, which I which I remember from those times. Uh, on Saturday, Sunday, we used to go and play cricket matches where I was the only girl. So, ladke hote the, baaki sare sab ground pe change kar rahe hain, ground pe khel rahe hain, masti kar rahe hain. But I was sitting in a corner because I was the only girl. Plus, if I want to go to batting, so they will like that the pacer will be able to get it. So, if I want to go to balling, so they will like that the girl is good, so let us send a seven down ballet, which is what we do with normal batting, and send it to them. And I remember once I was balling and I first ball pay four, and the second pay six, and my captain came to me, he was like, you check your pace and you will get this wicket. I was like, okay, so third ball play, I got the wicket and then I realized that it's not about gender. It is all about uh, how you look at the situations, how you read the situation. So, uh, so yeah, I think every every woman uh, who outrun men are my inspiration and uh, I'm looking forward to get, like there are many, many ladies sitting here, many girls uh, who are, you know, who have inspired me today. So yes, it is a never ending thing and uh, uh, somebody, I, 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 every day I get somebody who inspires me. What about you? Um, I think uh, in the footballing world, I have to say I had male role models, uh, male footballers that uh, I would watch on TV and, and be very inspired by. And I think that comes from a lack of uh, viewing that we had available to see women's matches. So like my first, you know, World Cup, what I remember watching um, 2002 World Cup, France 98, I remember. It was all men. It was the old Ronaldo, not the new Ronaldo. And uh, yeah, Christian Vieri and these Italian Maldini. And they were my role models. And I mean, now that I think back, I, I wish I had uh, seen more women playing football at that stage. Um, at a younger age, I, I would suppose I come from a very a female dominant family, so 
a lot of my grandmother, my mom. So I think they were pretty much my role models, but not in the sphere of sports. So, but you know, you are a role model now, right? You are in that space. But uh, given that you know you are a sports woman, given that you're uh, playing football in a country which is so much obsessed. Uh, you know, what are the challenges, what are the gaps, what do you think needs to be done more? It's huge, I think, to be sitting in a position where, uh, you know, so many young girls are now looking to us to, to be that person who's going to lead that way. Uh, sometimes I do find it a bit um, overwhelming. Uh, currently, I'm helping running a club, so Hans Football Club. We're running it as a player run club and I see so many young girls you know, looking to us to create those opportunities for them. When are we going to play next? Like, aren't we going registering for this tournament? Or like if I have a bad day on the field, they'll just be like, Jyoti Bhi ko kya ho And then you're just, it's, it's got pressure, but it's a good pressure in terms of, it's, I mean, I'm glad that it's in my hands and it's, um, it's up to me and other women who are now uh, you know, been in the sport for a while. I mean, there are multiple things that make you a role model, right? First, of course, you're a good player will always be looked after. That's that's regardless. Skill and the person who's outshining everyone on the field, of course. But it's also the player with the most grit. It's the player, player with the most passion that also stands out on the field. They may not be the best player, but it's the player that takes charge, you know, supports, keeps the team together. And I may not be the best player on the team at the moment, but for sure I can bring that passion to the to, to the sport. And I'm 32. I think I hope younger players look at me and say, you know, if she's still running around in the 89th minute at 32, then if I'm 21, I should still be running, right? So that sort of that's the sort of passion I hope that the older players by staying in, in the sport can bring to the younger players. So uh, I'll take one more question and uh, you know and then I'm hoping that you'll have you know coming up with lots uh, after that. Uh, so uh, uh, Indu, tell us where uh, women's football stands in India, the world, what are the prospects, you know, um, what's lacking and what needs to be done. So I think uh, the position of women's football, of course, uh, uh, it's a, uh, it's improving. I would say that uh, uh, we are uh, hosting a lot of mega events in India, and uh, that is kind of a thing uh, we uh, we were expecting from some time. And now it is a time that India knows that uh, women do play football, and you know we are going strong uh, in the FIFA and uh, in AFC ranking. So I remember, uh, like uh, when I when I started working in Federation, so we used to travel in Metro, and uh, we used to sometimes we used to wear the India logo jersey because we were traveling and all. People used to come and ask us uh, where we were. So we used to tell them that uh, All India Football Federation. People didn't know. At this I'm talking about ten years ago. People didn't know what is All India Football Federation or AIFF stands for. So we we had to explain it to them that uh, it's like BCCI again a comparison to cricket. It's like VCCI with a uh, uh, country football and Lantia bhi khilti hai and they were really surprised that Achha, Lantia bhi khilti hai. So uh, this was the time when I personally realized that uh, there is a lot that is required to be done at uh, uh, national level and uh, uh, we need to introduce more events and all. Uh, this is from where uh, my inspiration to start the uh, Union Women's League came. So, uh, uh, we are fortunate that we have a national league. Many countries are still struggling to start their uh, national league. And other than that, uh, I think uh, we we have had under uh, seventeen uh, boys world cup. Unfortunate that because of COVID, the uh, women's world cup could not take place. But uh, this year it is going to happen, and we are hoping to see more support, more uh, fair engagement in, uh, at that level. Um, at senior level, uh, uh, well, uh, I would say 70s and 80s were the best uh, time for uh, women's football. But after that, uh, after 2015-16, we have picked up quite well. And uh, women's team is uh, playing a lot of matches at international level, international platform. Uh, the performance is also improving and you know, we are getting good results as per expectations. And uh, 
Uh, I am I am quite certain and quite hopeful that uh, women's team will definitely give us uh, uh, will show us more glorious day in in near future. And uh, but uh, at the same time, we need a lot of support from the community, from the uh, from the people we work in, from the uh, people we have in in the footballing community. So so yes, I think uh, we are on the right track, and we just need to push ourselves a little more. And uh, 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 some extra push to women's football will definitely uh, bring us those good days uh, a little early. Thank you, Supraku Pratel in the morning said that you know um, we may have that 1983 moment for the women's football. We're just hoping that that would happen. Uh, so, are there any questions at this point uh, for the ladies here in the dance? Any questions, Mala?
ये कभी इन्होंने शॉर्ट्स तो बहुत दूर की बात है ट्रैक सूट भी कभी नहीं पहना दे यूज टू वेयर सलवार सूट एंड उसमें ये ग्राउंड पहले इन्होंने साफ किया उसके बाद बहुत हमने वहाँ पर गांव वालों के साथ और स्कूल और जो कम्युनिटीज हैं उनका बहुत प्रेशर था कि लड़कियाँ घर से बाहर सवाल ही शी इज एंगेज ये अपनी शादी को लेके परेशान है कि मुझे शादी नहीं करनी है लेकिन घर वाले मान नहीं रहे कि हम भेजेंगे नहीं लेकिन शादी का नहीं एंड शी इज सो ब्रिलियंट अभी ट्वेल्थ में नाइन्टी फोर है इतनी मेहनत करके इतना स्ट्रगल घर वालों का कम्युनिटी का विदेशी का सबका वो प्रेशर झेल कर ये लोग इतनी मेहनत करके उस लेवल पे पहुंच रहे हैं एंड स्टिल फिर वो डिमोटिवेशन आएगा ही जब आपको ये सब चीजें देखने को मिलेगी एंड दे आर परफॉर्मिंग मेरा एक सजेशन है कि जो अभी आपने जो बातें की कि हम ए आई कुछ नहीं कर सकता है मतलब यू कैन इंस्ट्रक्ट या अपनी तरफ से जिस तरह से भी कह सकते हैं क्योंकि मैंने भी बहुत ऊपर लेवल पे खेला एंड आई नो पॉलिटिक्स होती है हर गेम में होती है तो उसके लिए जैसे वुमेन कमेटी है है ना पार्टिसिपेशन है ऑल इंडिया फुटबॉल फेडरेशन में वो पूरे जैसे बी सी है उसमें हमारा भी कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन है जी है ना वुमेन हमारा एपेक्स काउंसिल का मेम्बर है सेम वे आपका ऑल इंडिया फेडरेशन में है तो देट शुड बी इन स्टेट एंड डिस्ट्रिक्ट लेवल पे अब हम ये चाहते हैं कि हमारी इतनी लड़कियां हैं तो हमारे दो क्लब हों दे शुड बी एफिलेटेड विद अजमेर डिस्ट्रिक्ट सो देट हमारी लड़कियां जब ओपन लीग हो दे विल प्ले हो देर और उसमें से सिलेक्शन हो तो एक अच्छी टीम बने वो आगे स्टेट में जाए और स्टेट लेवल में भी हमारा पार्टिसिपेशन होना चाहिए कि जो क्लब का एक और ये अगर मैंडेटरी हो जाए थोड़ा सा we have some very exciting things lined up for you all hi my name is yusra and i'm an organization coordinator <laughs> uh so mera sawal aapne kaafi kuch competitors boss ke bare mein bhi ki shaida with your own personal stories and kis tarah aap aur aage is cheez ko badha rahe hain through ai and in your personal capacity i just had one uh, uh, groups confusion and some dialogue जब हम कॉम्पिटेटिव स्पोर्ट्स की बात करते हैं एंड देन वी आल्सो टॉक अबाउट स्पोर्ट्स फॉर डेवलपमेंट सो व्हाट कैन सम ऑफ द कन्वर्जेंसेस जो हम दोनों के थ्रू अचीव कर पाए एज इन ऑफ कोर्स वी नीड टू क्रिएट गुड प्लेयर्स एंड वी नीड टू ऑफ कोर्स शो सम सॉर्ट ऑफ अचीवमेंट टारगेट्स कि हम इंडिया लेवल पे कहां पर आए हैं बट उसके साथ ही यू नो जैसे हाई परफॉर्मेंस प्लेयर वेलफेयर एंड पार्टिसिपेशन पे भी दोनों डोमेन uh, काम करते हैं सो कहाँ कहाँ हम लोग लाइब्रेरीज देख सकते हैं स्पेसिफिकली फॉर स्पोर्ट्स मिनिस्ट्री के जितने प्रोग्राम्स हैं एंड ऑथोराइज फेडरेशन एंड ऑल्सो दैन सिविल सोसाइटीज रूल सो कहाँ पर हम कन्वर्जेंसेज देख सकते हैं
you if you have only played for Bangalore club a bit once i think the season ends on 31st may so it's possible for you to actually come back take a transfer back to delhi and compete even at the iwl with a delhi based club but and you will not be banned you can still play for the delhi state team next year there's no ban as such it cannot be done वो कर नहीं सकते टेक्निकली हो ही नहीं सकता बोल सकते हैं बट के नॉट बी डॉट so this is how we are uh, doing it and uh, grassroots and youth these are all community based uh, programs because uh, we we try to reach out each and every corner of the country in uh, all the states wherever we can and uh, from from there and in fact uh, uh, just for the for everybody's information we have scouts uh, available across the country so wherever these leagues and everything are happening we do send our local scouts uh, in order to scout the best talent available in the in the country so nobody is left behind and uh, of course we are human errors uh, happen sometimes uh, we are tend to miss uh, some some people but uh, no offense to anybody we try our level best to uh, to give you better services but uh, of course uh, as i said uh, human hai galtiyan hoti hain sabse but uh, expectations ke according hum log kabhi खड़े नहीं उतरते बट बट यस हम लोग कोशिश करते हैं कि जितना हम अच्छे तरीके से एथिकली एंड क्लियरली काम कर सकें हम वो कोशिश करते हैं बट ऑन द परफॉर्मेंस साइड यस वी आर वर्किंग ऑन दैट थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू सो मच